Is that natural stir? My most favorite, um, a knock power shoot. Yeah, I'm about to show the, the barbell guys what a good burger tastes like. Alright guys, so it is Saturday um, in the beautiful state of Texas, city of Houston, and I'm here with the Barbell crew that came down to Houston. We're filming a podcast. It was actually a really cool podcast. I can't wait for you guys to watch it. I feel like this is probably one of my best featured podcasts I've ever done. Um, I love... You guys will see it. I don't want to ruin it. Anyways, beautiful day in Houston. Out for the day, we got this unreleased motor club jacket for the F1. Co F1. We have a racing drop coming out in May. And, uh, yeah, this is fire. I fuck with this jacket. And Dr. Basics, got some jeans, you know, doing the thing. We're about to go eat some lunch at one of my favorite spots in Houston. It's gonna have a good day. It's literally a bodega. It's just about to hit. I literally fasted for 48 hours for this meal. So, I'm ready. I'm about to show the, the barbell guys what a good burger tastes like. That don't mean I can cure depression. If you wanna do some, do some, but I'm taking your direction. You ain't fall in love with me. You fell in love with the man I could be. You ain't fall in love with me. Alright, guys, so we just wrapped up a day with Bart, Mike, Dean, the whole gang here, Barbell team. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for having me on the on the thing on the on the show today. I Thanks think. for spending your time because I know your minute is worth more than my minute. No, that's so not true. I'm like, <laughs> you spent a lot of minutes. I think you just wasted like forty thousand dollars. Yeah. Nah, nah. Today was amazing. I think I love doing things like this because I just told him like, even though I'm like, you know, older than I was when I first started, I feel like I'm in that mode now where like I kind of soak up everything that I do. I learned from like the people that I'm around and the people that I have experiences with. So like doing this today was just like an eye-opening experience. Nah, this is dope, man. I, I, I thank you guys for having me on this, bro. Oh yeah, thank yeah. you. Man. I, can't, I can't right now, but I can. You who? Yeah. For real, for real? I thought you said he was trash. No, he's at. Ah, no, <laughs> the fuck? Like what? Did you play sports at all? I played track and football. Like national level track. Like, I was that guy. I was that guy. <laughs> what event? Uh, 200 was my main event, but I went for 4x1, 4x4. I didn't even tell me about that. Yeah. Which um, Receiver. You did so good. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it looks like it's dark outside. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Alright, like, guys, we're here. Probably like my favorite, my most favorite, um, a knock power shoot. Um, Naka Madness, best drop today, honestly. Shirts, 10 for 10. The new pieces we're adding, the button ups, the pants, all that shit. The women's items we're adding, the, the crop tops, so much shit. We're actually, we're gonna be here for like, we've already been here for two hours. This is probably my favorite drop, man. Like, I think you guys are really gonna fuck with this. This is the one. We, this is the one where we really like step outside of our, our comfort zone and we offer new shit. And from here, it just gets even crazier and crazier, so. Really excited for you guys to see this one. You got your hands on these products. You got two of the designers right there. Put this collection together. Got the best content team in the world, except for Surge. We're killing it, bro. Killing it. Thanks, bro. Twelve figure state plan. That was the escape plan. But I ain't investigating. That shit was a waste. Man, but wait, I stopped the face. And cause shit just started. Oh. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, I'll do a chest tour, it's back. Nah. <laughs> Where's Ant? What's the restaurant, I think? Oh, he's throwing up. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I think Ant's I think throwing up. Hey, Kai! I think Ant's throwing up. You threw up? Yeah. No, oh, I know. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you up? No, no, no. Wow, oh, dude. <laughs> you threw up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you said, are you up? <laughs> we're gonna eat that hard, bro. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, bro. I don't know why. I think we're just moving too fast. <laughs>
I slow it down. <laughs> Back on too fast. Like relax. <laughs> It's Friday. Okay, I'm reloaded. All right, guys. It's Friday. We ain't got no work. We ain't got no job. We ain't got shit to do. So I'm finna pour up this drink. I probably slurred that. I probably fucked up that line. But I'm making a drink right now for me and Sergi. You know, just to celebrate life, man. Celebrate life. It's been a long week. We had a launch, a successful launch. We have another launch in literally a week from today, which is pretty crazy. But, um, you know, every now and then I like to take a, take a moment, take a day, whether it's a work day or like a weekend, take a day just to like, you know, relax and you know, remember that like, part of the reason of doing all this shit is so you can make your own schedule and have fun when you wanna have fun. Granted, We've all been slaving, working, busting our ass off the last couple of days. I've been having a lot of shit going on in the house. It's just been, you know, combination of spending money and losing sleep, not a good combination. <laughs> so that shit's been taking a toll on me. We're finally near the end. So right now I just made up, I made a, in Texas we call this ranch water. Um, I think it's soda water, tequila, and lime. But just for that extra splash, I like to add like a little bit of margarita mix. Ah, shit, that's a little too much. It's a tad bit. It's that natural stir, you know? And, uh, wow, it's really? actually pretty fucking awful. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but hey. Okay. Jeez. Mm. That's it. Ranch water. Damn. That's all right. It's ranch water. That's ranch. That's water from the ranch. Now that I've done this, um, I guess we can get to the topic of the video. Is I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the crib post renovation. So you guys saw it. You guys saw it when all this shit kind of started. My house was a mess. So for the last three weeks, which is probably why I didn't upload a video, I just didn't feel like I was in the right mental space with all this shit going on. All the money I was spending and shit, like just so much shit going on. I still feel right uploading the video. And Serge couldn't come over. There was people in my house. There was literally like six, seven workers in my house on a daily basis. Now, everything's kind of settled down. We have, we've made a lot of progress. You start with hair. These chandelier lights are Kitchen Island uh, fixtures. These were actually put in place yesterday. You can already tell they make a huge difference. This place is fucking right now. Um, before I had like those simple, basic black things, we changed it. And uh, I think it just makes the place look a lot more elegant. It looks super, super nice. And it kind of matches the other, other things that we've added. This dining table, I wasn't sure what to put here, but uh, I felt like this dining table, a small dining table like this, doesn't take too much space up. Um, matches the vibe of the house, black chairs. Couldn't go wrong with this. And honestly, I, see, I actually eat here a lot more than I do at the kitchen island. If you look at this, I'm sure you already noticed there's something different. We added these drapes to give this house more of an elegant feel. If we're going elegant and high high class with like the lighting fixtures, the table, and all the other things, the drapes was kind of like the, the icing on the cake. This makes this house look more like a home. We have this dining table. Shit, I think it's a light. I mean, it's a light, but I forgot what it's called. A chandelier? Chandelier, yeah. <laughs> so we have this dining, dining table chandelier that was very expensive. Um, you know, I have an interior designer. He felt like this was the vibe. And I feel like if you look at this area from this way to this way, it looks like it should be in the magazine. I'm adding two more of these chairs um, that should be coming in pretty soon, but like the vibe is just, you know, vibey, you know? Last time you guys saw this, it was round. I don't even know if you guys saw these pillars up, but the last time you guys saw this, this was not here. So we added these privacy pillars that kind of match the vibe of the house but also, you know, give that privacy between, you know, the front part of the house and the second part of the house. I like it. It makes my house, I feel like my house just kind of stands out when it comes to the interior. 
Um, it just doesn't look like a cookie cutter built home. This, this kind of takes away from that cookie cutter built home vibe that I first got when I first moved in. So I'm very, very, very pleased with the way this came out. And obviously it leads to the office. In this office, we painted everything black, the walls black, everything black. And then I have this huge decorative panel that's gonna take up this entire wall um, that's coming in hopefully next week. Obviously getting new office furniture, but I love the black feel in here. The white was just throwing me off. And then on to more exciting things. Um, we have, this is my favorite part. Or my second favorite part. Second favorite renovation or addition. So this is just a white wall. This was just a white wall. You guys, I don't know if you guys can, I'm sure it's gonna flash back or whatever, but this is literally just a white wall. Um, we made it into a bar. We got black marble all the way to the ceiling. We got this black bar. Um, it's very nice. The only thing it's missing is handles. That's getting, that gets installed on Monday. Today's Friday. Um, I love it. I'm gonna store all my wine, all my liquor in here. Once I get all the handles and stuff, that's gonna be really cool. Um, got a new rug. I don't know how long that's gonna last because I'm definitely gonna spill some shit on it. Got this new selfie mirror. A new selfie mirror. And I, this is where I take all my selfies. So if you follow me on Instagram, this is literally where I take all my selfies every morning and shit. Um, this is the rug that was in the living room. We decided to move it in here. I felt, well, Hanny felt and I felt as well, there was too much hardwood in here. It didn't really feel comfortable in here. This rug just kind of gives it, you know, more of a homey feel. I like it. It kind of makes me, I don't know, I felt a lot more comfortable getting on and off my bed um, every morning or every night or whatever. So. Um, got some new beddings and all that shit. It's pretty cool. We have my new closet, which is not completely done yet, but it's damn near, damn near done. Um, if you remember what it looked like before, and you look at it now, it's kind of crazy how much it changed. It was just really like, just not vibing. It wasn't vibing. It just didn't match the house. So changed it, add these two pennants, built everything from scratch. Um, there's still a couple extra things like we're, we're, we're adding like a service on top of this to kind of like not let it just be only wood. Um, we're adding handles to all the cabinets and all the drawers. Um, we're adding black and white premium car carpet to the ground. Um, clothes, I'm going to be doing like a full clothes like makeover because there's a lot of shit that I don't wear anymore. Honestly, I honestly wear, I used to like not wear a Naka, but now I wear a Naka like every single day. And like I choose, I feel like I don't wear anything else. I, I mean, I'm happy about it, but it's just because we're getting into that, you know, the high fashion, upper, upscale, I guess, fashion. So um, it's kind of, I mean, it's enabling me to wear more shit. So, and it's more of my vibe, I guess you could say. So now we're going up to my favorite edition. It's made progress. It's not done yet. We have a few things to add, but when this shit is done though, I'll be spending a lot of my time. At least I say it right now. I said that about my pool in my last house and I didn't end up spending a lot of time there, but we've got the theater room blacked out. Still needs some touch-ups, but obviously this is a platform to where if you're sitting here on the lower level, the person that's sitting up here on the higher level, which I'm still waiting for the couch to come in, has that movie theater feel. This whole room is gonna be black, just completely black. This is getting blacked out um, on Monday. And then the carpet and stuff comes in next week as well. But this is probably like the coolest thing. I've never had a theater room. So the fact that I have one now, even though like, I don't know what the fuck people will do at home in theater rooms, but <laughs> the fact that I have one now is pretty cool. So um, looking forward to putting this together and um, you know having a place that I can just come chill in. So I wanted to create a home gym for the first time in my life. Um, pretty much I'm gonna be dedicating this entire area. I think I might leave one car lot, or car spot open for a car, but I have a pretty big driveway to where I can keep my cars outside. But um, I'm gonna dedicate this, pretty much all of this to like, all of this to like right here. Space to like add gym shit and stuff. We're gonna be adding a mirror, T 
TV, all that shit. Just really making this like my own gym. Today they're gonna be poxing the floor. I think they're moving in. They're moving in equipment um, next week. Um, I'm gonna be building my own home gym. So, man, I actually want to make this home a place where I really don't have to leave unless I really have to. All right, so that was the tour of the house, the update of the house. I know this video was kind of all over the place, but the last couple of weeks have been pretty crazy. We have a drop coming up. We have a drop coming up uh, on the 27th. We have another drop on this. We have we're essentially dropping two lines on the 17th and then we're dropping a third and then we're dropping two collections on the 30th and then we're doing something pretty crazy and special for supplements so um yeah pretty much from now until then i'm gonna have little to minimal sleep but it's gonna be fun this is what makes doing what we love fun so um i'm gonna try to be as consistent as i possibly can with the uploads, um, trying to walk y'all through, um, you know, all the stuff that we're doing behind the scenes. And then there's a lot of other exciting things that we've got going on too. So stay tuned, be back. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.